we have another box to open today. A nice, light, fairly robust packet. What's inside? Wow, could be anything. Could be a boat. Let's have a look. In many ways, this is actually quite similar to the Goblin Commander S that I used to have with its cable coming out the bottom, the on off switch being down the bottom. Here we have the tool holder, which actually was in the box with the HVR200. That's why I'm doing this today and not then. There's the tool holder. There is a slight bit of broken plastic, but Looking at that, that's such a clean break. That'll glue back on really easily. So we'll put that up there out of the way. I also have, did have, oh gosh, did have some screws, but I do not seem to have those screws anymore. Hang on. They got in the box. Naughty screws. Oh, these hold, apparently, I have been told, the handle on. So the handle pushes in like that. Look, it's, it, it, it's, it's rather clean on the back. And then this, oh yes, there we go, look. Clips on by the looks of it. Aha, like so. I wonder if they ever did a non-tools version of this thing, because this seems very modular. You can always tell with Hoover, with the turbo power range, because they have blanking plates galore. Either blanking plates or lines in the moulding, which would have been for you know, the optional accessories. Because just punch it out and fit it. So there we go, and look now we can fit the hose, which seems to fit at full stretch actually. That goes there, the ones slot in here. Oh, this is lovely. And then dusting brush and crevice tool. And the cable seems to be able to go up through there but we won't we won't care about that just yet I'm just going to untag this a little bit and then you and I shall have a closer look so from the handle down there is nothing really to note it is just a handle however down here we have a box I see Aha. so the bag compartment this is a dirty fan cleaner I think this is not sealed and in there for actually in there is a bag which is rather handy is there anything else in there no just a lot of dust a lot a lot of dust so we have a non-genuine but you know legit bag and by the looks of that that will hepa flow up an absolute treat but for now we are just going to fit the bag that's in it. Really? There we go, that's cool then. So that's fine. A little bit of wear on the Goblin logo, bit of a shame. That one's okay though. Um, I think that's about it for the top. Let's go down. Well, we have the base of the machine. So we have a little lever there for, doesn't seem to have much resistance, but we've got hose and tools. There is a sticker here from Domestic Appliance Services, branches in Dumbarton and Helensburg. So obviously they have seen it a bit. Goblin Laser 2500 Plus. That is going to need significant masking off when this gets its refurb because it is already quite faded. So if I do this, 
Oh my gosh, that goes backwards on itself. Ooh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that. We have a bellows. Bellows are there. Two rear wheels that are a little bit wobbly, but not too bad. Lots of filth. Lots and lots of filth. We have whatever that is. <laughs> not entirely sure. And we have a brush roll which seems to turn quite easily. I'm not sure if that needs a belt. We might have a look at that in a second. Significant side brushing action going on with this machine. I haven't found a rate. Ah, I have just found a rating plate. This is behind the hood. We have a goblin. Oh, I can't. It won't stand up now. Well, just not be lights over. Fikey. Let me reset the camera up. Hang on. Oh, my head. This will be easier. It is a Goblin 1903C, 475 watts of power. No idea when it was made. It will be 1990s, but it's made in Ireland by Goblin Limited. And you can see all the dirt, but the bellows seem in good order. This is typical dirt for a dirty fan machine, really. Hose is good, considering that will get a significant amount of wear. Ooh, right, well, we'd best turn it on and see if it works, hadn't we? Right, so we are plugged in, ready for the big switch on. Oh. Do not appear to have any power. I wonder what the plug might tell us. Let me go find a screwdriver and we'll get the plug open. Ah, well that would possibly help. Look, there is no fuse in the plug. I've got a spare plug here which may... I can't get it open. Any more spare plugs? Ah, here we go. Look, here is the still around the cord wheel from that spare, or the spare cord wheel for the Hoover Lifetime that I had. Ah, with a lovely 13 amp fuse sat inside of it. So we'll add that out. Let's put that back on there. Yeah. Wiring seems absolutely fine. Apart, oh, apart from that, look, that's. Oh no, it does clip in just. Ah, hang on. Yep, that clips in. So we'll put the plug back together. Just put me little screwdrivers away. Hang on. Nah, no, don't care. Right, should we try again? Now, I don't know if it's going to be on or off now. Something is not quite right with this cable. I think there's a break in it somewhere because that was, well, as you heard, turning on and off when we moved it. I wonder if we can the hood off and have a look. Now there's going to be a fair bit of guessing here, but there is a screw here, Ooh, which is not actually turning. I can, oh, I can, I can feel that moving the hood. Oh yeah, this one's turning. So we have one here. There is, is there one down here? No. I don't know what that bit's for. I think that just helps you stand up, you know. 
Oh, uh, right, there we go. Ready? Look at what's just falling out. Oh my goodness me. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Gosh. Um. Uh, ooh. Obviously, this is going to be a slight problem. Cannot move it like that now we've seen it. So let's I've got the vax out let's get it gone So that is one very full fax. Oh goodness, goodness, goodness. So there we go. This is the inside of the Goblin Laser. Amazingly handily though, there is a chocolate block. And the good thing about chocolate blocks is that knocking an inch off of this cable is going to be ever so, ever so simple. We just need to undo this screws. Take this cable clamp out that's down here. In fact, you can't really see from that angle, can you? Just... Oh, if I turn that around. There we go, look! Undo these cable clamp screws, one of which I have just dropped. Oh. Get out. stuff falling out of this left right hand centre. It's very chunky though. Nice and well built. Oh. So assuming as much as I can with the resources I have available that the break in the cable is going to be somewhere down this bottom bit here, isn't it? Oh, there we go. So I have the old multi uh, meter. Let's just check. I'm getting nothing at all. No, I think. Which will chop it back to, we'll chop all that off and chop it down to there. 
Let me go and do that now. I guess it re-terminates. I think it's the original cable as well, because look, the ends have got a crimp on them. Let me do this and we'll come back. So welcome back. Oh. We have our cable now stripped and terminated. Although I, I, I slightly wish I made sure I knew where the cable clamp was before I started filming again. So this is possibly going to need maybe just a little bit of a refurb. Getting that hunch from this job already. It's got the same switch as my Commander S had because that was broken on that. So I've looked at the switch quite a lot. I don't have my Commander S anymore. I sold it to a lovely little boy called Steve. I do have a couple of goblins now though. In fact, this is the first one that you've seen, I think. Right, so that is done. While we are here, this belt is far too loose for its own good. And from the looks of it, this whole front panel lifts off. So I do have to get to this screw, which I can do now, and it is turning. Oh, that's fine, because this should epoxy nicely back onto the underside of the hood where it should go. Yes, it snaps off there, look. So that's okay. In fact, we'll put it and its screw to one side for now, because we don't actually care. It'll be fine with just the one. And there is another screw here, look. And I think one here as part of the suction channel. There we go. I'm going to pop this. I'm not going to pop anything off. There we go, look. Oh, so this. There is a flap in there, look. Obviously this will work a lot better when it hasn't got all that. We'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Because this is... The brush roll of itself, which is in fine order. It's filthy dirty. Oh look, it's got 608Z bearings which it doesn't actually need replacing, so that's fine, that is. God, there's so much. This thing's probably had quite a hefty old life, I think, looking at the state of this. Oh, wow. It's all coming off in chunks. This should be really quite good when it's cleaned up, because in quite good condition now. Right, let's get the let's get a vacuum cleaner back out because otherwise we will be here literally all day and I've got no. little furniture guard just slides on and off so that can go back on now I thought I'd take that off just to assist and I actually want to make a bit of dirt on the carpet I should have thought about that and we should have piled it all up God, it's all under there as well look this thing 
probably hasn't worked properly in a long while. I think it's been used quite a lot whilst damp. It's obviously gone from daily driver to living in the garage, sadly, which is what happens to most older vacuum cleaners actually. There's nothing you can really do. It means that there are a couple of bargains to be had because obviously you can pick them up. Filthy dirty and not really working very well. We're going to pull and I'm going to quickly pull all the lint off of this brush roll. I'll get this brush roll cleaned up. Hang on. <sighs> Welcome back. There's the end cap. Oh, it's been on the floor and it's just picked everything back up again. Ah, welcome back. So we have one perfectly fine brush roll because I'll never find another one anyway. I've also been hunting through some belts and found that a DCO7 slash you know, non-clutch Dyson belt is probably going to work okay. I've just, I've just found more crud down here. It just never ends. We're not aiming for, you know, Concourse at this stage, I want to get the majority of it out. So we'll put the belt around the motor spindle, and then I think these just slot in like this one. There's two, yes, there we go. Let me have a much more robust brush roll. And that's as far as we're going to go now. See, we have, oh, again, we got a copyright goblin logo. Oh, we have date wheels. Nine. Um, that's not terribly handy, goblin. Pointless, we'll ignore that. <laughs> oh, no, what are we doing? Silly boy, you've got to put this back on first. Honestly, can't get the staff. There we go. Look. So it clips in from the front and screws down. There's a screw here and one screw in the middle. Then the hood can go on. Slots into the back first under the rear housing. Drops down, we can flip her over and then um, I can't remember which side, I think it's this side has the, yeah, we can put the one screw back in. And that will do for now. There's a bit of fluff here, which we may as well have out while we are doing so well. It's like a little bit of a light refurbishment, isn't it? There's crud there, crud there, crud everywhere. But, has all of that made any difference? That hasn't gone well. There we go. Has all of that made any difference whatsoever? Well, let's have a look. If I pop that there. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Top for me knob, look, on the floor. Terrible. It's not this, then we'll have to end the video now and I shall have to investigate it.
so we have suction, I suppose. We have floor brushes. Oh, there's a little nail just falling out of the top of here. Put that in there and it works. Works really, really well. Let's do some more of cleaning with it. the suction absolutely kills it that's not bad though it's terrible as in it really needs a refurb it is it is not a happy chappy but it's picking the bits up i think that won't take too much we'll look, we can wrap the cable up see it goes in there and then i presume there we go look the world's smallest lower corner hook the world. Yeah. In fact, actually, if I take that out of there, there we go. Look, it even hold its own flex. That is pretty cool. So, thank you, Dean. You know who you are. I loved my laser. My twenty five hundred plus. Cannot wait to get it working well time of filming this it'll be later on in the year but by the time you see this it may actually not be we shall see not that i need another right, right but i've never had a laser i thought i would give it a go so there we are thank you very much for watching and i and the goblin laser we'll see you soon bye bye